Let me sit down here. Activate vault tech terminal. All right. Let's see. A uh, vault tech administration system. Records database nine two three A. Uh, network offline. Please check your local connection. Of course, this offline should be. Um, DC area vault listings. So, I was in Vault 101 at the beginning, right? Um, to find my father in the Tranquility Lane, I had to go to Vault 112. But here, in the area of DC, there's at least... There are five more vaults that... So, um, let's see what Vault 76 is all about, are we? Um, oh, we also have the project, the project rules. Uh, equipment insurance. Vault number 76, starting construction date, February 2065. Ending construction date, October 2069. Total number of occupants, 500. Total duration, 240 months. Computer control system, brain power 4. Uh, primary power supply, light life shield thermal. Secondary power supply, general atomics, nuclear weapon. And this is by Bob Crew Industries as well. Think about it. Um, and it's between 2075 and 2077. No copyright, by the way. But yeah. <clears throat> Non-standard, non-standard equipment. None. All right. Uh, personal, personnel assignments. Personnel assignments. Yeah. Uh, Vault seventy six role summary. Vault seventy six is one of our seventeen control vaults. Seventeen. Okay. It will operate exactly according to the plan stated in the marketing material produced by Vault Tech, and precisely to resident. Patient. This vault will open automatically after a period of 20 years. Ah, huh. okay. So Vault 76 was supposed to uh, open its doors after a period of 20 years. And the residents will be pushed back into the open world for study in comparison to the other experiments. Pushed into the world, okay. Uh, project rules. Access restricted. Oh yeah. So you don't want me to uh, to find out what they were doing. Okay. Fine. Vault 87. Equipment insurance. Uh, vault number 87 starting Ascribe Russian. Okay. Uh, starting construction date May 2066. Ending construction date December 2071. Total number of occupants redacted. Total dura duration redacted. Computer control system Cyberbrain version 2.3. Primary, primary power supply General Thomas Nuclear Power. And secondary power supply Versicops Corps. Uh, fusion power. Non-standard equipment. Stasis chamber. Four. Plasma containment field. Three. Yeah, there's a jet there as well. Food processing station. Unexpected end of file. Data corruption detected. Personnel assignments. Files corrupted. Please reinstall operating system software. Error. All corruption dictated. Please re okay. Fine. Batch. Budget rules. Access restricted. Why do you want me? Why do you, you restrict the access? Alright, alright. Uh, Vault 92. 
Recruitment insurances. Uh, vault number 92. Uh, starting construction date May 2062. And the construction date May 2068. Total number of occupants 145. Total duration 100 years. So compared to the, the vault, uh, to vault 76, this was supposed to end in 100 years. And uh, computer control system, green power 7, primary power supply, uh, general atomic nuclear power, general power supply none, right? Non standard equipment, sound equipment, itemized in memo, okay? Musical instruments, audio equipment. Were they, uh, what, broadcasting um, an orchestra or something? Um, you know, due to what I th I know about what uh, the vaults are, when I read this, sound equipment, musical instruments, and holding equipment, what I can think of is um, maybe they were trying to use the sound as a way to to uh, hypnotize or I don't know change. It's either hypnotize or change the mood um, of the inhabitants of this Vault Ninety Two. I'm just uh, trying to to make a hypothesis here, just to make sure that yeah, if I'm right. Well, you heard me in this uh, specific playthrough, but, you know, uh, personnel assignments. All right, or budget rules, access restricted. Um, so that was Vault 92, Vault 101. Oh, my vault. Equipment insurance. Of course you don't have anything. Uh, personnel assignments. Error, okay. Budget rules is restricted. That's great. It's great. Uh, Vault 106. Recruitment insurances. Uh, starting construction date March 2064. Constru ending uh, December 2069. Total number of occupants 95 subjects, 12 researchers. Total duration 147 months. And there's that there are 12 researchers in these 90, uh, 95 subjects. I don't know. Uh, 147 months, so much higher than uh, old 92, I think. A computer control system, Think Machine. 1800X. Primary power supply, Rock Solid Brand Geothermal. Secondary power supply, General Atomics Nuclear Power. Right? Personnel assignments. Vault 106 personnel assignments. Uh, personnel assignments, sorry. Uh, overseer, Dr. Albert Oleris. Additional personnel. Archivist's note. This information has been redacted at the request of Dr. Albert Oleris of the Psychological Research Department and Chief Overseer of the Vault 106 project. All inquiries into the goals and research methods of Vault 106 are to be directed through his office. All right, Roger Dole's archivist's note. Information has been... Well, okay. Fine. Uh, Vault 108. Government insurances. Let's see. Uh, so, March 2, 2061, right? December 2069, due to birch stoppage. Right? Uh, number of occupants, 475. Right? Duration, 38 years. Not a lot. I don't know. Computer control system, none. Primary power supply, general atomic nuclear power. Note, main supply designed to fail after 214. Main supply designed to fail after 240 months. This was supposed to be duration 38 years. Legendary power supply, steam, steam, Whistle Mini Geothermal. Note from admin. We are aware that the steam whistle is only sufficient to power this project 
harshly. Please do not file any further reports on this issue. Unstandard equipment, offensive weaponry, triple normal issue. No, do not stock with standard entertainment. Personnel assignments. Uh, so let's see. Overseer Brody Jones, Chief of Staff Zachary J. Jameson, Chief of Security Eric Mattis, Morale Officer Nathan Oragen. Right? Research note: All standard positions have been intentionally left unfiled and filled, and will be assigned by the Overseer according to the Vault 108 protocols. According to the pre-assigned medical tests, the Jones has a genetic disposition for, for for rare terminal strain of cancer, which should ideally cause him to expire within 40 months of the project's inception. These two events should combine to allow a proper catalyst that allows this project to continue as project goals. Okay. And uh, lastly, and Vault 112. Equipment Insurances November 2068 June 2074 right. 80, 85 occupants There were not 85 occupants there when I came to search for my father or our deceased father See that? 85 Total dura duration? Indefinitely Yeah, that's quite normal they were using the tranquility lane. Computer control system, uh, think machine, uh, 3600R. Primary power supply, uh, sure power geothermal. Secondary power supply, extra sure power geothermal. Okay. Non standard equipment, 12 one, 147 C robots. Air take your vari variation, 85 basis parts. Yeah, stasis pods. This is the tranquility lane. List of liquid nutrients detailed in them. Liquid, liquid nutrients? Yeah, because all of uh, the um, the subjects were not able to move. So they had to fill them with nutrients in order to, for them to be alive for an indefinite number of time. Personnel assignments, obviously. The one and only. Uh, over here of uh, Vault 112, which. who is in of itself, Dr. Stanislas Braun. Additional personnel, such as notes, to the nature of the project in Vault 112, the highly automated systems designed to support it. Vault requires only a single administrator. Yeah, of course it is, because, you know, tranquility lane and whatnot. Project goals, access restricted. They like they like to their restricted access, right? Uh, Voltec personnel assignments. Of course, of course. Order, transition forms. Of course, nothing here. Oh, I sent them over to your station. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah, let's get up here. Um. Welcome. What I wouldn't do to get my hands on one of those enclave vertebrates. Scribe Rothschild wanted I'm sorry, but I really don't have time to talk right, right now. Perhaps so Scribe Jameson could help you. you. All right. Yeah. Sure. Say so. Um. You honor us with your presence. All this time spent acquiring technology, and we look like cavemen next to the enclave. That is not acceptable. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Um, the so this is Jameson, is your service. but I still have you more people to talk to, I suppose. The Enclave seems to have developed advanced plasma-based weaponry. I need to analyze our power armor. Okay. Um, let's go to that terminal. Quick. Antigon Library Terminal. Wait, UFO? Welcome to the Pentagon Library, General. General, okay. 
Report on UFO chud named Palandine. Further investigations into the UFO chud named Palandine, or Palandine, I don't know, uh, have confirmed our suspicions. On the evening of May 3rd, 2062, an alien craft of unknown age and origin did indeed breach the airspace just north of Adderstone. Adderstown, sorry. Um, okay, let me read that again. So, first off, a UFO. Okay. So, on the evening of May 3rd, 2062, an alien craft of unknown age and origin did indeed breach the airspace just north of Adderstown, Maryland and crashed into a heavily wooded and non-residential area. Unfortunately, attempts to retrieve the craft proved unsuccessful. It simply could not be located, either due to some kind of advanced invisibility shielding, or because the occupants managed to make repairs and evacuate the crash site before our arrival. Despite our failure of recovery, the significance of this event cannot be denied. We are not alone. Yeah, we are not alone indeed. Uh, Project Brainstorm. Brainstorm Military Cultural Center. 2076 Progress Report. Our flagship project, the Induced Patriotism. Our flagship project, the Patriotism Initiative. Yeah, uh, has met with resounding success. Our agents have successfully, successfully included covered and overt messages of extreme patriot patriotism and loyalty into popular media ranging from the big screen to the Sunday funnies. Increased military enrollment amongst the target demographics serves to underline the success. Agent Webb has been particularly effective at influencing the music industry, and he uh, has interesting proposals for the fields of organized sports and even such Seriously difficult markets as comic books and toys. Uh, success in these areas would ensure early education with bombers, and thus ensure more than a devoted nation of soul. Patriotism. Yeah, okay. Uh, mission Loa Loasina? Loasina? Report? Oh. Good name. Uh, Loasina. Uh, development report. Development of the mutant undermining life form continues apace. Now, Sheaf. Bioengineers are certain that we'll be able to perfect these living weapons time for deployment in Red China. Once covertly released into an enemy's environment, their aggressive qualities, dangerous hunger, and pervasive breathing should severely undermine the structure of the location in short order, softening the target, the target for ground invasion. At this point, the genetic Kill switch can be activated, allowing for I uh, for easy reclamation, but including a significant one-time cleanup effort. Current mole development, right? Uh, primarily uses genetic stock of rodents, particularly the commons to a rat, and progress has been significant. FEV testing has been rejected, however, as the results are sterile. Fair enough. Um, so, um, Hail, outsider. I am Scribe Jameson. So this is Scribe Word Jameson. Your ordeal has spread. I am truly sorry for the loss of your father. But if yeah. I can help you in any way, please let me know. Yeah, I need your help. Um, first, uh, wait. I'm going to ask the most um, common questions that I ask of the Brotherhood of Steel because, you know. So, uh, any thoughts about the Enclave? Quite a few. But most are distinctly unladylike and unworthy of discussion. I will tell you that the Brotherhood has encountered the Enclave before, and their motives were just as sinister then as they are now. Right. I see. Um, you to share anything about the Super Mutants by any chance? The Brotherhood has been battling super mutants for decades. First out west, then in Chicago, now here. But this group of super mutants is different somehow. Physically, yes, but mentally as well. If we knew where they came from, we'd know why. Yeah, if we knew where they came from. Now tell me a little about the scribes. 
Well, there are a number of orders within the scribes, each dedicated to a specific area of research. Uh, what are the orders? The Order of the Sword is responsible for weapons research and development. Guns, ammunition, anything of a defensive nature. Defensive research is done by the Order of the Shield. Power armor, defensive so structures, anything that is intended to protect us. Okay. The Order of the Quill the of the preserves quill. the written knowledge of the ancients, okay. seeking out all manner of books and hallow tapes. Uh, what order are you a part of? Actually, I am Proctor of the Order of the Quill. I oversee the archives and library here in the Citadel. We are dedicated to preserving the history of the Brotherhood, as well as unearthing the secrets of the pre-war civilizations. We have a single field associate, Scribe Yearling. She operates out of the former Library of Congress to the Northeast. All right, that's all I needed. Certainly. Um, I found a Brotherhood holotag. What should I do with it? You have? Oh my. This brings to light a sad affair for the Brotherhood. But perhaps it is something that you can assist us with. If you have the time, I have an offer for you. <laughs> Apparently I don't give a damn. <laughs> well, how about we skip the story and you just tell me what you want? Sure, yeah, I don't got, I've got all the time in the world right now since, you know, my father's dead and whatnot and I don't have a purpose except for making sure that the enclave pays for what they did. Good. As I'm sure you've noticed, the Brotherhood operates all over the DC ruins often detached from the main base here at the Citadel. We are short on communication equipment. So many of the groups in the field operate as independent cells, without standing orders. Sometimes, I'm afraid that their missions end in their deaths. As Keeper of the Scrolls, it's my charge to write of each Fallen Brother's deeds. <laughs> mm, yawn. Mm. Yeah. Alright. Anything you said. Uh... And without radio equipment, you can't keep track of them? Exactly. A brother fallen in the field may have no one to carry word of his death back to me. In calmer times, we could send detachments and messengers to learn their fates. But with our manpower stretched thin, we have no such luxury. Which is why I must now ask you for your help. Each brother wears a holotag like the one you found. Should you find any of the fallen brethren in the field, I ask that you return their tags to me. So that I might record their deeds in the scrolls. Huh? So, um. Okay. Um, what are the scrolls that you. Scrolls are kept by the head librarian of each Brotherhood bunker. The scrolls are a record of the Brotherhood itself. Into each scroll is written the name and deeds of each of our brothers. Battles, what technology is recovered when he was promoted. Everything. The last entry for each brother is that brother's death. It is important, as the way a man dies is just as important as the manner in which he lives. And so, each man who nobly serves the brotherhood ascends into our history I see. to be remembered by those who come after him. Uh, where can I find Olotag? They are on our fallen brothers throughout the DC ruins. However, I can't give you a full report on the locations of all of our operations. As I said, many of the units in the field operate independently, sometimes not reporting into the Citadel for weeks or months. Uh, why don't you send your own people and your old attacks? As I told you, with the increase in super mutant activity, and Elder Lion's edicts regarding our goals, we are critically short on manpower. Any soldier that I would ask to do this task is one less soldier fighting in the field or defending the Citadel. As much as I hate to involve outsiders, it is necessary if I am to properly maintain the scrolls to honor the dead. And uh, what a reward if I bring you these whole tags? We have access to a great deal of technology. And because of that, there are a number of things that we can continue to produce. I will be able to offer you caps for the tags you bring me. But from time to time, I will be able to give you something a bit more interesting. 
Um, I have some questions about the Brotherhood. Ah, one of my favorite subjects, of course. What would you like to know? What does the Brotherhood believe? We believe in technology, in the triumph of the creations of the ancients over the horrors and evils of the wasteland. We believe in trust. Trust in technology. Trust in our fellow brothers. Trust in our elders. Trust in technology. Ah. And we believe in victory. Our forces have dwindled, but still we fight on. Super mutant, enclave, it matters not. Surrender is not an option. Who are the members of the Brotherhood? Elder Lyons leads us. Star Paladin Cross is a Seneschal. Sentinel Lyons, the Elder's daughter, commands the Lion's pride, our elite combat squad. The Paladins lead the Knights. The Knights are the core of the Brotherhood. They scour the waste to eliminate evil and recover technology. Scribe Rothschild oversees the scribes in their duties to seek knowledge and restore the technology the Brotherhood has acquired. What about um, the Brotherhood's history in this area? We first arrived in the Capital Wasteland in 2255. In those first couple of years, we discovered the Citadel, Super Mutants, and Project Purity. Ah, the Purifier. What an undertaking. The work your father and his team did was amazing. The Brotherhood helped protect yeah. them, you know. Yes, yeah. At least for a little while. But we were stretched thin as it was, even back then. We had to pull our forces out. When we did, the place was overrun. I yeah, imagine that's when your father mute. left. I... I'm sorry. I wish things had turned out differently. We all are. We all are. Very well. But me first. <clears throat> um, I wanted to ask about the, the old attacks. Yes. What about them? Uh, I had a few questions about them. It is my duty to provide knowledge that benefits the Brotherhood. Now, let's talk about something else. As you wish. Just remember, more tags, more reward. I know how you outside I don't even know how many holo tags I, I covered. But, um, yeah, I wanted to ask yes. about the holo tags. Uh, I found some holo tags. Have you? It saddens me to hear of my fallen brethren, but their names and deeds shall be records. Tell me, how many have you found? I don't know how many I have. Take uh, all the whole tags I have. Their names shall be written into the scrolls to be remembered forever. As for you, here is your reward. Use it well and in good health. 400 bow traps. Uh, yeah, I had four. Okay. Well, uh, nice. I have to go now. Go with peace and knowledge. All right, so 400 chaps added. That's great. Welcome. Add 400 chaps more than I had before, so 